Well, my name is Eamon McCann. I uh, represent the journalists of the North of Ireland. I'm the National Executive of the National Union of Journalists. Uh, I, and I'm also a campaigner here in the North of Ireland. I, before and during and since the hunger strike for basic civil rights and for equality for people. And that's the context in which I see Hatter's case. I, I think it, a, a, in some ways, in my view, a Hatter symbolizes the Palestinian people. A, the Israelis have tried to isolate, they've tried to imprison their cause, they've tried to starve them, literally. I, and also they have used overwhelming odds against them and with the support of all the major organs of power in the world. Sort of and the type of power that they are bringing to bear, that the Israelis are bringing to bear, sort of on one man, isolated, in a prison cell, uh, and symbolises the Palestinian people and his resistance to all the pressure being brought on him. His resistance symbolises the resistance of the Palestinian people to uh, fighting against impossible odds, uh, starved of the support of the most powerful nations and powerful individuals in the world, marginalised. All the things that have happened to the Palestinian people as a nation have happened to Hatter as an individual. And it's that which makes his case so important. Because to win this case it will be to show to the Israelis and to the world that overwhelming odds can be defeated. The indomitable persistency of uh, Hatter is uh, the same as, and this is where he finds it of course, the same as sort of the, uh, a, a, the fixity of purpose of the Palestinian people and struggling on for freedom, sort of when there's very little in the surrounding circumstances which gives them succour or gives them support. So it's in that sense that some of us here, sort of in Ireland, north and south, and indeed across Europe and across the world, have been on the streets, sort of in recent weeks, trying to acquaint people uh, with the case of Hatter and inviting others to come and protest and make their views known, whether it's on social media, whether it's outside embassies, whether it is phoning important people or supposedly important people in the Middle East, all those things are being done but need to be done on a much larger scale and that's the message we have been trying to get across.